I said I was going to one take this intro. This is my third time doing it. So here we are again. Biscuits from Heaven back with another video for you know life trolling motherfuckers. And <laughs> if you don't know who that's from, then I think you will pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to do another video on EDP 445. I, I did pretty well in terms of views, which don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Not why I do videos per se, but people were very receptive to that content. And I saw today that there's apparently been a um, a new EDP saga born. It's like Dragon Ball Super now. Uh, as Charlie or Critical, Moist Critical put it, uh, BC and AC for EDP 445 were now after Cupcakes. And everything that I'm seeing that came after is almost better comedy-wise than what came before. So essentially, my, I guess, claim to why I feel like I should even do this video is because I had some fairly uh, decent EDP success. Uh, the engagement on these videos is pretty well. Uh, the, <laughs> the videos that went more so after the individuals who exposed EDP, because I wasn't a big fan. I wasn't a huge fan of the Alex guy that actually did the exposing. And uh, I had to take this, put it in private, as you can see, because of the fact that some people from those videos hit me up and was like, hey, kind of got to take this down. I was like, okay. I'm not one to avoid libel, unfortunately. And because of that, there's some content in there that I had to just, I couldn't just cut out. So I just put in private in it. But this video is not going to be about those guys or any of those people or the, even the chick that read the, um, the logs. None of those fuckers. It's going to be about EDP and how I think, and this isn't me empathize with EDP 445 by any means. But every, anything he gets is up to is him now. I mean, I think, me personally, when I think you pretend to be an asshole, you know, for for fame and views and claim and blah, 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 and money, sometimes it's a catch up to you. And unfortunately, it caught up to EDP. It wasn't much goodwill for him outside of the, uh, the very weird stickler stuck around to him. Uh, like, even after 2020, when it was clear he was talking to individuals that he knew were, were, were uh, underage, they still stuck up with him. But after 2021, when, it, <laughs> when um, I believe it's Marshmallows, uh, I believe that's her name, uh, after she kind of <laughs> really, really gave him the uh, Negan uh, <laughs> to Glenn treatment, just bashed his brains in on, on stream for two hours. Um... After that happened, it was it was GG's in the chat for oh boy. This is ten ways I think EDP could have done a little bit better. I'm gonna kind of get more old old stock. I'm gonna go. I'm just trying to start from as early as I can remember because I've been I was subscribing to him since like 2014, and I kind of didn't really enjoy his content much after the Super Bowl win. But I'm gonna try to really figure out a way to maximize this guy's life and maybe help him avoid becoming. The guy who works at who tries to work at Chuck E. Cheese's, but people <laughs> literally this is what happened. Very he tried to work at Chuck E. Cheese's, and guys recognized him. Was like, hey, I don't want this fat behemoth trying to molest my kids at Chuck E. Cheese's. So here's number one: EDP don't work at Chuck E. Cheese's. Just off rip. That's a, that's the curveball um, that you were throwing to yourself. You literally threw a mother effer. I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying to make this, you know, so you guys can... I think I already curse anyway, but fuck it. Um, threw the curveball back to himself. Himself in the face. Bad move by EDP. Going to number two. And this is way back. EDP. I think you should have kept the hair. I'm going to be honest with you. I know it's receding. I think the hair makes him like ten times older, dude. If you look at old EDP, there might be another screenshot of old EDP somewhere in this. If you look at old EDP, like... 2015 EDP, like kind of the headband and the afro. You may know which picture I'm talking about. He looks like about 24, 23, 22. Which I might have been his age, but that's a normal looking age. When he cut the head, look how old he looks in this picture, bro. Or in this still. Dude looks like he's 42, bro. I think he's the weight of the world on his shoulders, bro. Look at this. Between the, the shitty stubble, the fact he looks like a... a an eraser, like one of the shitty erasers, kind of like already worn down. You left in your uh, book bag too long. I mean, like this, you should have kept the hair. Dude. I think even if it's pushing back, bro, even if you got that thing doing 
one of these. Or one, wait, which one would it be? Would it be one of these? It'd be one of these. Yeah, you got one of one of these. You gotta keep it, bro. I, I to me personally, gotta keep your hair as long as possible. I think if he did that, it wouldn't have made what happened any less disgusting. But he would have looked like a less disgusting person in those tests. That's number two. Number three. Whatever girl he had, like after the EDP, after the Super Bowl win, where he was like, "Oh, let me go work out and all that." Whatever girl he had, like that little, uh, I think she was Hispanic. Should have kept her. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she was disgusted by this guy who like sends pictures of his turds to little kids or people he thinks are little kids. At least anyway, maybe those traits, you know, maybe those became disgusting to him. Or maybe the videos that she that, that he did with her in them, where he basically would joke about being the living shit of his penis. Maybe I was just unattractive to women for some reason. I don't know. I, I maybe women. I thought women enjoy when four hundred pound men basically joke about shitting twenty four seven and jerking off and around other people's parents. May I thought maybe they enjoyed that. I, evidently, EDP all that too, but maybe she didn't. I don't know. Um, that would be number three for me. Don't. Let that woman go, especially if you lost your virginity. What was it seven years ago, six years ago now, five years ago? If it takes you about, I'd say about thirty years to lose your virginity. Uh, maybe you should. Uh, any women you get, maybe you should keep them tight, like a cupcake. Just hold them tight. Number four. Don't embrace the cupcake shit. There was a, his first video after he came back, like literally his first video on the internet after he came back from all that stuff. His first video is him literally introducing eating a cupcake. That's that's his intro to the first video, I think. Uh, I don't remember all the details of this. About probably two months after all this happened, dude starts eating a cupcake. You can't. You don't want to test karma. That's that's my opinion. It's not funny. I'm not making a joke here. I feel like you don't want to test karma. It may not be a real thing, but the idea of Rolling Stone, you pissing people off on the internet, especially when you already like lost all your fans. Like literally, these people on his Reddit would like die for this man. They were saying anything to make this man seem like he was, you know, not doing the stuff he was doing. I'm like, yo, after you lost them, bro, you had no goodwill. I mean, like I said, he was a jerk on it. Like, I say jerk, but like, he just was not, like, a likable person outside of being an aloof, I guess, loser for a decade on YouTube. Um, he just didn't have anybody that was going to ride for him. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think he want to embrace being the evil fucker. I don't think that's a niche and the problem is that, like, that was pretty much what he did to make money towards telling. Like, he was doing, like, alt-right. I'm not trying to make this political, but he was, like, he was basically doing alt-right stuff. Like, very, like, weird. Like, like not, not even, like, stuff that was consistent with his own, like, content before he started getting money from this certain community. But he, like, would do, like, Parlor, the app, like, ty that type of shit. Uh, 4chan shit. Like, very alt-right stuff. And this was, like, like, literally, like, literally any dog whistling, like, Angry you could think of. He started doing that stuff. And there's like kind of last year of normalcy for his content. And um, it was just weird. It was very weird. Like he would start doing it out of nowhere. And you, then you could start following the money. And like those are people that are pretty much supporting his stuff. If you look at his like, his uh, ratio for that content, uh, it was like insanely high. So like evidently he could see where the money was coming from. Some of those same people was like uh, subscribing to his uh, locked communities and such. So it was just, it made a lot of sense. But at the same time, it was like, I just, I just don't think being an asshole uh, works when you are trying to broaden your uh, audiences. I think it was number four. So number five, this one should probably be saved for last. I'm just going to say off rip. He should have retired the, uh, the uh, Super Bowl win. That was it. That was a peak of his powers. That dude cried on the internet. Um, that clip of him crying at the Super Bowl was even on ESPN. I saw it. It was even on ESPN before. Uh, I mean, he, he himself was on ESPN around that same time. Um, that was the peak of his powers. I mean, it would be like if Little B was still doing the curse stuff every day. Like it just, it just, he literally ran out of his angle. Like his box, he created for himself. He tried to get outside that box, and it didn't work. It just didn't work. He should have stopped it for that. I think it would be perfect. I think he could have maybe still did like other content, like maybe games, some other shit. But like the whole ranting format, Eagle stuff, Howie Roseman, all that should have been dead. It, but that um, with that Super Bowl win, I think it would have done a lot for him. Uh, going out on top. Uh, number six. This is a big one. When mother... 
fuckers paid for his uh, subscription. And he, like, basically flaked out on that, his uh, gym subscription. And he, like, flaked out on that stuff. I think he, like, literally didn't even go, if I understand. I don't think he went to the gym. But when that happened, that dude messed up. He should have went to the gym OD. I'm telling you, if you're about, he was, like, 25, I think, when he gave us a uh, gym subscription. Like, 25, 26. I'm not going to see him eating in his peak body because he clearly had a, a bad metabolism. Even when he was going to the gym crazy, um, he was like dropping weight. He was clearly dropping weight at like a, um, like not at a diagonal line, but like a, almost like, like a very curved line, so to speak. My uh, trigonometry and such uh, is not very good. But, uh, <laughs> but, but that, I don't know trigonometry has anything to do with that. Anyway, he wasn't dropping weight at a pace that would make you think that he had a, a, any kind of metabolism whatsoever. And I don't know how he was eating, but at least the amount of work that he was putting in for what he alleged, he should have dropped away a little bit faster than he did. And as you could see, the second he stopped working out, when he started doing, like, more of the controversial content, and just basically, like, got a car and, like, didn't have to walk to his job and all that stuff. But life became easy for him, basically. Um, he put the weight back on immediately. And he probably weighs more, at least as of that uh, video where he got exposed. Uh, cause that's the last time I saw him. Uh, like, full body. That dude looked bigger than he looked before, like, they gave him gym subscription, which we meant by a couple years apart, but the point being, like, ADP could have been about 26-ish, and even if he went bald, he would, like, went bald like a normal fist. He went bald with having a fucking, um, hacky sack head, and then no neck, and then a glob of weight pouring over this part of his general upper body and it was just and then he like wears a tablecloth to get around i'm not fat shaming him by the way it's just like this dude literally blew like his last prime years when he could have had all the money and resources and not be fat and he would have put in more weight because like i said the metabolism was garbage but he messed up actually i'm running short on ideas at this point uh a big one <laughs> let me say this I think a big one would have been to basically go on like a, a apology like all across the internet. I don't think it would have worked for the majority of people because and nowadays it just seems like if you become ousted on the internet doing stuff like this, the internet takes care of you. It's like a vigilante system almost. The internet takes care of you. Like I know Ryan Haywood from um from Achievement Hunter slash Rooster Teeth, pretty much the same thing. A dude can't like even get Twitch videos off without people like, shitting on him in the comments. Uh, uh, pages getting deleted on Twitter, all that stuff. Um, oh my God, dude! Hold up, look at. I'm going through the. I have. I didn't even watch all this most critical video. So to close that out, he should do like an apology video. Here's another takeaway. I got, I got, I got three left. I'm stumbling now at this point to get to the finish line. But I got. Here's the. Here's the third one. Here's a big one. This is a massive one. Hold up. Let me switch out here. Nope. This is the big story. <laughs> Whatever made you choose. To use this picture, Bryant Moreland, you messed up. Whatever told you to use this picture, dog, you... <laughs> Bro, the problem with me and, and some of those text logs was that this dude was looking like a predator in his natural pictures. He should have had some girl, this isn't a takeaway, but he should have had some girl in his life tell him or try to instruct him, hey, and put like his fucking chicken wing over Hey, how do you think? How, how should I take pictures? How do you think I should take pictures? Like, what's my angle? Like, do I, do I just indulge in the neck? Do I try to expose the neck a little bit? How do I take pictures? Because he had some creepy ass pictures to uh, Marshmallow's uh, understudy. And in this picture, bro, if you saw that trying to pick you up, you would run. There is no way this. Dude my man was doing uber eat i mean uber drops uh, he probably was doing uber eats too but he was eating the food before he got there um ha ha hum dumb zinger there i, I don't know it, it killed me when i was like making like fat joke 24 7 in that um that disposal video it's like i don't know if we need that many fat jokes man i feel like fat jokes are low, low hanging fruit really but apparently EDP really try to get a chuck e cheese job dude that's horrible bro i don't i don't know why EDP try to do that um, I got, what, I got two left, um, 
I think he should should not have been trying to beef with other YouTubers as much as he, I think he became too big. Here's here, I guess here's the takeaway. EDP should remain humble. He should have remained the loser. I think that was his angle, bro. He got successful. And this is around the same time it was like the money was really starting to come in. He started having like things off of off of uh the YouTube platform. He's making money like Cameo and uh, he's doing like you know Todd Creator um collaborations and like all that stuff. Golf Lane Media, he was doing all that type of stuff. Getting ESPN placements, all that. It was on damn Tosh. I mean, it just came to like it finally real I think it just popped in his brain that he had this first real moment he could just say, I'm that nigga. And you know, I, I feel him. Like everybody has an I'm that nigga moment. Where they just know that at that top point in time, no one can mess with him. I get him. But the problem is there's gotta be a certain reality attached to that. There's gotta be something that ties you in so you just don't go crazy. And EDP went cra- dude, he was like like Basically, like, sending his dogs. And like I said, he, got some, he had some addicted fans, bro. He was just sending dogs of people. It's like Ramsey Bolton dog from Games of Thrones. Just eating on the YouTubers alive in the comment sections. And that's why you had some other dudes that were in the same niche as him, like, covering football stuff in that kind of uh, inflammatory manner. Like, similar personalities that were getting killed by EDP that, like, ran rough shot on his ass when he got exposed. Dudes was like trying to bury him in a pack and get him out of there. And the reason was that because he would just like literally kill dudes or like in, in, with his community base. And I think it probably should be something set for his fans being that damn addicted to the personality like EDP 445. I think that probably should be something set for them. Some of those people should probably be put on a list. They might be future and psychopaths themselves. But my point being, EDP should remain humble, bro. He became too big for himself. That's not a fat joke. I, don't, I wouldn't do that. I don't do fat jokes. Anyway, uh, number one. What's the last, the last one? Apparently, EDP is in prison. What's the last one you're going to end on? Whatever you did get in prison, dog, you fucked up, bro. I don't, I don't, it doesn't even matter what it is you did. EDP, you should have got, got the country, bro. That's that's the last one. I'll end on that. EDP, you should have got the country. This is me giving that man actual advice here. I don't know if he's like on probation now or like locked to his country at this point. That dude had to have some money immediately after this all happened. He had to have some a bit of money. He had millions of subscribers. He had hundreds of people, that, as I understand, uh, doing cameo. My homeboy hit him up for a cameo, bro. Cameos at least are fairly, you know, like, I think he was charging like 15 or 24. It's only one bit, one minute. Like he was like knocking these cameos out. Like he was like, I think he mine was one minute. He was just knocking these out. Like do 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 do. That dude probably had at least, I would say, like ballpark thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, bank account. He was spending like mad money on guns. They're not cheap by any means. And he was like buying guns. That I don't even think were like legal for his area. But the point being, that dude had the money to at least say I'm getting out of this country. If I was EDP, bro, and I had to go back. Go before the cupcakes, for the uh, basic fetish that this man had for anything under the age of eighteen. The the <laughs> even before like the 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 malaise after peaking with the Eagle Super Bowl win, uh, and then having to re- resort to alt right content. I would just ditch. I would just dip. Start a new life. I made it in America. I, li- I made the American dream. I ate in capitalism. I did everything there is to do in this country. I would have dipped. Go to... Go to fucking... I don't know. Go to France or some shit, bro. Like, come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of this country. That's what he should have did, dude. Maybe in... Fucking Zimbabwe. They like... Big, rotund men. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. But that could have been his angle, bro. He should have dipped. Now he, now he did. Now, now, I think he's stuck here. Now he's, apparently he broke his hill. I don't know. I don't know how you go broke his hill in a year, but he's he's assed out apparently. And the dude lives in a pretty like I feel like he lived, the thing is he lives in California, which even if you don't live in Los Angeles, I'm pretty sure that the cost of rent isn't amazing. But he was making it work when he was broke, so I, I imagine he could make it work while being fairly uh, rich. I would think, but. I don't know, man. ADP, you still here, bro.
if you still have access to the internet without going to McDonald's or a coffee shop and staying outside the coffee shop using their Wi-Fi, bro, get your last little dollars together, man, and just struggle in some other country, bro. They're going to make your neck forever, dude. This, I, I close it out now. Critical, he did like, I want to say five mil off of, five mil to ten mil off of one of those EDP videos back when this happened. My homeboy, um, not my homeboy, I don't know personally, but the boy, Daquan Wiltshire, he was doing millions, and he had like, he didn't even have, I don't think he had millions of subscribers. He was doing millions off of his uh, EDP rent when he was like just going in on them. Me, dude, I had, I had like maybe like, I want to say like 50 or 60 subs when I did my first EDP video. You saw that, bro. I did 2,000 on the first one. I did 10,000 the second one, bro, basically. Like 9,000, basically. I had another one that I was going to cook up that I think would have done a couple bit. Um, and there was one, there was one that even featured EDP per se. There was one that only talked about the two people that, that disposed them. The the girl, you know, white girl. And then um, Alex, the dude, the racist guy. That did, I think, 4,000 or 3,000, something like that. Uh, I'm proud of that one too. And I have like, I'm literally a nobody on YouTube, bro. There are thousands, if not millions of people who know about EDP messing up. You gotta get out of here, bro. There's no other way around it. 